Today I'm going to go over the progress that I've made designing a mount for my Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle from what worked okay, to what looked really good, to what actually does work. This was my second design for the Tiny Hawk 2 freestyle frame. I went ahead and decided to make the mount out of PLA, move it back a little bit, raise it up a little bit. I thought this would give me the camera angle that I wanted. I really like the way the design turned out. Looks pretty neat. I'm one of those car guys and it kind of looks like a set of wheelie bars. I like that. Well, let's get on with the first test flight. It was a fairly calm day. Things seem to be going well. I like the angle a little bit better from the original design. Moving it back, you can see the back props a little bit better. And then, well, you can see what happened. This happened several times to me, so I figured something was wrong. Best I can figure out, the center of gravity is too far back, and the little flight controller just can't handle it. So, here we are, back at the drawing board once again. I took my original design, modified it slightly, made it a little thicker to make it stiffer, changed the center tube to actually a tube design instead of a straight flat rectangle, moved it in a little bit to help the center of gravity, and now I've designed it so it's up towards the top to give the camera a better angle. Now I've got the part printed, have the antenna tube installed. I had a little bit of trouble getting it over the standoff, so what I did is I took my four millimeter nut driver and I used it instead of a pair of pliers to push it into the mount. Made it flush with the top on each side. Now just install it as you would normally install your standoffs. I push the antenna tube down over it. Well, now that we have this design complete, I think it's time for another test flight. Well, I could tell as soon as I took off, this was definitely going to be better. Today wasn't the best day to do the test flight. There was probably 12 to 15 mile an hour winds left over from the tropical storm. Hopefully you liked the video, and if you like my design, the STL file is in the description below, as well as the G-code for an Ender 3 printer. Thanks again for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.